Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of ZV Universe. As always, got lots of great action planned for you tonight. Some tag team action, as well as some very high stakes action going on. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, sit back and enjoy and get ready for another fantastic episode of ZV Universe. Up first for you this evening, Marcel makes his grand return to TV Universe as he takes on for Raptor. In our second match this evening, Tony takes on a debuting Crow in one on one action. Leela goes up against Akane as Akane looks for revenge against her daughter last week. A surprising twist, Woot and Alric try to put their differences aside and form a tag team, taking on Team Ass. Rhea and Galford and Shoya Yurepa go at it one more time in non title action. And in tonight's main event, the rubber match between the Bloodlines and Nightmare Neo Forte with some very interesting stakes on the line. Should the Bloodlines pull off a victory tonight, they will earn an opportunity next week for Nightmare Neo, Mor Neo Forte's respective prizes, being the ZV Super Championship and the ZV in the Bank title. A lot, a lot riding on that match, but we will get to that soon enough for now. We're going to start to show off right with a great opening match between Marcel and Veraptor. Marcel's recently taken a little break from ZV Universe, but comes back re reinvigorated, reinvented. Hopes to start fresh, making a new name for himself. Getting very far in ZV Universe this time. Hell of a challenge, though, as he takes on the leader of the Heritage Foundation, Veraptor, recently debuting his entire stable. With the forces, like, with blah. With the forces of Cheetix, Stagos, Deragnus, and the newest member, Swanstis, they look to be a force to be reckoned with here in ZV Universe. We've already proven that running roughshod over the entire roster. And plan to keep that streak going tonight in one-on-one -on -one competition against Marcel. There's the opening bell, ladies and gentlemen. Start out with a good old-fashioned tie-up right in the middle of the ring. Marcel with some impressive wrestling. Gets the upper hand on Veraptor. Tries to choke him up, but Veraptor gets out of it. Let's a few good punches fly. Or tossing him into the ropes. And just plants and <laughs> tackles him down. Lets the punches fly. Goes for the cover here. And only gets a one count. Hmm. 
Ooh, big clothesline from Marcel. Whoa, an impressive show of power from Marcel as he just picks up a Raptor and dumps him down. Can't believe the referee allowed that count. Literally being tied up in the ropes like that. Raptor ducks out of the way and counters with a nice drop kick. Ooh, hard counter. Another stiff clothesline puts Raptor into the corner on the ground. Marcel wastes no time just stomping away on him. Raptor quick to trip him up with a nice drop toe hold. What if these competitors doing a fine job trading blows? Right now, though, Raptor seems to have taken control. As he goes for the cover once again. <laughs> Nonchalantly tosses Marcel to the outside, follows suit. Tossing him right up onto the apron. Ooh, hard elbow right to the face. Rolls him up. Hits him with a schoolboy super kick. A move he has clearly stolen from someone else. He only gets a one count, though. Maybe he's not quite as good as performing it as someone else. Hump of Raptor looks poised and ready. Oh, goes for it, but Marcel counters out of it. Nice sweep of the leg, putting him down. Ooh, a hard drop kick. Ooh, a beautiful soccer kick. Nice overhead kick from Marcel. Incredible agility. Pull off a move like that. Raptor's got a lot in the tank left. Counters with a nice knee left and a straight kick. Oh, beautiful kicking combination. Into the cover. And that's enough to put Marcel away. A definitely a hard fought victory. Marcel put up an excellent showing in his return, but wait a minute. Oh, come on. Raptor showing his true colors here. He won the match. Fair and square, still trying to punish Marcel for it. Raptor continuing to show the heritage true colors. Truly, really no one is safe from this evil faction. Coming up next for you this evening in singles competition Tony versus Crow. Tonight in singles competition, once again without his partner Supremus. <clears throat> Looking to take on the debuting and very intense and interesting foe. Can't wait to see how he measures up against the Big Green himself. And 
his opponent from the wasteland, weighing in at 210 pounds, the barbarian wild man. If you could take intensity and sanity and just raw passion and put it in a person, I think you would get Crow as a result. Going full tilt at all times, he is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with here in ZV Universe. Let's see how he fares against his first real challenge here in Tony. There's the bell, and we're underway. Tony doing a great job trying to show dominance with a spine buster on out of the gate. A couple of well-placed elbows. And a big chop, too. He's gonna have no problem taking the fight to the wild man. Nice belly to belly suplex. Wildman definitely a proven fighter. Perhaps he wasn't quite ready for the environment that is WrestleMans. Slowly seems to be gaining ground though, getting his footing. Oh. Tony with a surprising shoulder tackle. Picks up Crow, but gets an uppercut for his troubles. And a hard punch. Couple of hard punches. And hoisted up on the top rope. That's two big men on top of that turnbuckle. A big superplex off the top. Gonna roll Tony over into the cover. And barely gets the one count. Mm, stiff kick to the shoulder and a huge left hand. Tony with a clothesline to drop the big man down. Storm from Tony mount a little bit of offense there. Punches him right off the apron. Decides to go after him. Mm. Some stiff knees in the stomach. Ah, uh, but Tony counters with a straight punch. Drops Crow instantly. As he bounces off the announce table. So I guess we're big boot. Crow ducks out of the way. Misses the punch, however. Both these men whiffing big blows, but they're swinging for the fences. As Tony gets tossed back in the ring, Crow slides right back in. Tony now going up to top rope. He rarely does this, but when he does... Goes for the elbow, but misses. Tony miscalculated and missed the mark. Decides to throw a crow to the outside instead. Slides him right back under the apron. Oh. Ooh, a hard kick to the side of the face. Hey, oh, he gets that green claw right on his face. But he's all tied up in the ropes. Gets the rope break. He looks locked and ready. They're going to try and hit that choke slam on the big man. And he gets him up. Ooh. Wild man slammed down hard. Pulled out. Going to go for the cover. Oh, gets a two count. Tony very surprised by that one. Thought he had the big man beaten. The wild man's not quite done as he gets fired up. Get 
Max 22 of feet and hits him. <laughs> a few ZV specials. <laughs> Welcome to ZV Universe, Crow. Ooh, a stiff chop. Bust Tony open. Goes for the cover. One, two, and surprisingly gets the two count. I thought busting Tony open like that might have put him away. Crow's going to have to inflict a little more punishment on Big Green. He's not careful. All that blood is just going to put Tony into Tony Rage mode. And there is no stopping Tony Rage. Oh! Beautiful Uranagi out of the corner, though. Crow hoisting Tony up on his shoulder and drapes him across that top rope. We're locked in ready once again. Hits him with a double choke slam. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. And that's enough to put him away, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your winner, the Barbarian Wild Man. Very, very impressive showing from Crow in his debut match, ladies and gentlemen. He took everything Tony had to offer <clears throat> and then came back hard. A few good shots, and he wins his debut match and is more than happy about it. So he celebrates in the middle of the ring. Great job tonight, Crow. Can't, can't wait to see what you can do in the Universe. Up next for you this evening, Akane looks for retribution from his daughter's from her daughter's loss last night, and she takes on Leo. Making her way to the ring from the other side of darkness. Bad Alice! Leela has made quite a name for herself in ZV Universe so far. Despite a rather surprising loss by disqualification during the women's tournament, she has done nothing but dominate in the recent nights and weeks since. Last night she beat Enchilada in one-on-one -on -one competition. Apparently Enchilada's mother a great exception to that. I'm on my own against the wild and her opponent from Death Valley, Crimson Akane. And that's why tonight Akane has requested this match one on one against Leela and has been granted that opportunity. Personally speaking, I do not envy Leela in this situation. Hell hath no fury like a mother scorned and all that jazz. This proves to be a hard-hitting, tough match. Starting out with a tie up in the middle of the ring, Leela gets the upper hand in first. Keeping that arm well rested. Wrestled, rather. Makane trips her up and puts Leela on the mat. <clears throat> oh, Leela hit a counter, dropping Akane right on her face. Connie now doing what she does best and letting those fists fly, but Leela counters out of it. Tosses her into the ropes. Mits her up and tripping her up, sweeping the legs. Ooh, just raking away at the back. Slamming her face first into the mat.
Oh, goes with the kick. <laughs> but gets countered. And tossed right out of the ring. Kane going to follow after her. Oh, picks her up. Oh, no. Power bombs are right against the apron. Mm. Oh, a stiff right hand, too. And smashes her face first into the side of the apron. Another few straight punches. Mila trying to fight back. Hang in there. Gets over the clothesline. Akane, however, definitely showing her fiery side. Trying to avenge her daughter's loss last night. Ooh! That innovative backstabber. Mila flips her over. Gives her a nice arm bar right on the ground, just wrestling her down. Where? Wearing her down piece by piece. Smart move, though, taking out some of that arm power. Less likely to get punched in the face. That's not going to stop Akane, though. She hoists her up and chops her neck first across the top rope. Hoists her up for that gut wrench suplex. Oh, keeps the fingers locked, holds on. Hits her with yet another gut wrench. Looks like she's going for a third gut wrench suplex. Really taking the fight to Leela now. Ooh! A stiff headbutt right to the top of the head. Oh, goes for a suplex, but Leela quickly counters. Tosses her into the corner. Ooh! Follows up with hard knee. Tries to. Oh! Scrapes the boot right across the face. Gets a running start. Oh! Hard running kick. That's. Oh! Drops Kane with a hard right hand of her own. Gets a two count out of it. Once again, starts working on the arm and shoulder area. Kane hoisting Leela up once again. Runs her straight into the turnbuckle. And slams her down with a power slam. Into the cover. Only gets a one count, though. Crowd firmly behind Akane there, looking for a little vengeance. They, too, want some retribution from last night. Oh! Knee straight to the face and a big clothesline. Kane definitely getting fired up. The crowd is in full support of her. Oh, goes to clothesline Leela, but gets tossed over the top rope herself. That was a hard fall to the outside. Oh, tries to take advantage of it, but Kane takes it in stride. Throws Leela back in. Oh, unless the punches fly one more time. Oh, twisting her up, going for that double underhook. Oh, jumping knee. Leela grabs that arm. Oh, no. Leela now just stomping away at the face. Goes for the cover. And in no small feet, ladies and gentlemen. Leela has taken out both mother and daughter. A hard right hand straight to the face. Definitely rocked at Kane, but didn't quite put her out. Kane tries to mount a comeback here. After smashing her into the turnbuckle and hitting her with that running power slam. A few well placed stomps to the face. Just takes the life out of Akane, and that's it. And the streak continues. Up next for you tonight in tag team action, Wood and Outrake try to put their differences aside and take on Team Ass and Sorum and Vile. Very 
recently, Alrink and Woot have had some interesting run-ins. Alrink in their last match was able to show Modicum of respect after being defeated, and Woot answered him by calling him out right in the middle of the ring. Last night, Alrink came out at the end of Woot's match and faced him down, and apparently they decided to put their differences behind them to try and get some tag team action going on tonight. Interesting to see how these two get along, to say the least. So far, they seem to have more of a very sportsmanlike rivalry. It's just downright hatred, which you'd expect from most of these people going to a situation like this. But they seem, these two seem to have a decent amount of respect for one another. Perhaps they can put their mild differences aside and make one hell of a tag team. And they're going to need to if they're going to take on one of the top tag teams in ZV Universe in this day. and Vile once again in tag team action. Not great to see these two working together again. Definitely going to pose quite a challenge for Wooten Alrick tonight. We'll have to say, see, blah, we'll have to see which team rises to the occasion here. A mild disagreement between Wooten and Alrick as to who's going to start out tonight. Alrick starting out the match tonight for his team, Soren for his. And we're underway with a good old-fashioned tie-up right in the center of the ring, pushed back into the Team Ass corner. The Ass corner, if you will. Oh, surprising cheap shot from Alrick. Vile, none too happy about that. Referee has calmed him down. Another few cheap blows. Alrick with Soren counters. Ties him up once again, gets pushed into the corner once again. Again with a cheap shot. Vile protests once again. Referee has to calm him down. Hoist is way up high. And smashed face first on Alric's knee. Toss into the corner though. So he counters with a nice side suplex. Or side slam rather. Sorry folks. Ooh, tossed into the corner. Goes for- Oh, no! Swarm ducks out of the way, and Wood is inadvertently hit. Two now trading blows in the ring. The oh, no! Another miscommunication as Wood tries to counter. Wood and Vile now battling on the outside. Swarm and Auric still taking two of each other in the ring. Goes for the cover. And barely gets a one count though. Ooh, sliding back in the ring. Ooh, gets a knee. Stomp down. Auric takes a advantage of the opportunity though. Gets a beautiful head scissors on Sorum. Uh, 
forearm blocked. Nice running elbow. Dragged back over to the team ass corner. Tags in Vile. Goes for the cover in the corner. But now we're quick to kick out. As Woot finally gets back to his feet, he heads back to his corner. Oh, spins around for a nice backdrop. Floats over. Going dragging back towards their corner. Makes the tag this time successfully. As Woot comes in. Definitely a rocky start in this new team. Hopefully they can look past that. This vial quickly counters. But Woot hangs on. Tossing Vile to a neutral corner. Follows after him with a hip check. And Vile quickly counters with a jawbreaker. Picks the big guy up. And Woot just quickly counters that into a DDT. I would be very pleased with his partner's progress now. Tossing him back into their corner. Clean tag. These two seem to have gotten past their little faux pas earlier. Seem to be working together quite well. All right, temporarily doing basking in his glory. Taking down Val. Ooh, a nice spinning kick. Hard right hand to the face. Begging for that tag. Sorum gets it, and in he comes. And then, ooh, beautiful axe handle. And a hard boot. And another. Goes to pick up Alric. Alric counters in a good old-fashioned fireman's carry. Hoist him way up high. Way up high and drops him face first. And it connects with the standing moonsault. Now they're doing a great job of keeping T-Bass grounded. Twisting up that arm. Mm. So I'm slowly rolling out to the apron, trying to create some space. Vile right there to his side, though, but not in time. Now it punches him to the ground and jumps out after him. Ooh, big chop. Oh, face first into the steel steps. Ooh, big discus forearm. Alric firmly in control outside the ring right now. Soren finally counters and delivers a few blows of his own. Both men swinging wildly at this point. Soren gains control with a backdrop. As the referee's counts back up to seven. Thrown into the steel steps for good measure. And Sorum slides back in. The referee's count up to eight. Auric's going to have to hurry if he wants to beat the ten count. Slides in just in time at the count of nine. Stares Sorum down, rolls him up. Hoist him way up high for a powerbomb. Sorum's in dangerous territory now. Trapped on the wrong side of the ring. Doing a great job keeping Sorum in their corner now. Tag made. Oh! Another miscommunication as Woot accidentally hits Alric. And in the confusion, Sorum's able to get the upper hand. Tossing him into the ass corner. Picks him up, but whoop, powers out of it. Yeah, it's hoisted up in a backdrop, though. So I'm now wrenching away on Woot's neck. Ooh, 
finally muscling up the strength to get to his feet. Toss back in the team as his corner. Sora, oh, face buster right out of the corner. Drags him closer to the center of the ring, gets him away from the ropes, goes for the cover though. Gets a two count. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Sorum's got the moves going. Ducks under, hits him with a few ZV specials. Woot manages to get the hot tag into Alric, and here he comes. Oh, misses the kick, though. Ah, connects with the knee, though. And connects with the Insiguria. And another knee. Picks Sorum up, hooks him up into the suplex, floats him over into the stunner. Drags him out towards the center of the ring, gonna go for the cover. Unfortunately, Vile's right there to break it up. We can't quite get in time to run interference. Just picks Sorum up again, gets shoulder checked. Oh, that's for kick. nice rollover. By Alric. Sorum hanging in there though. Back into the his team's corner. It's a it's Alric with a face buster out of the corner this time. <clears throat> Rolls him over. Gonna go for the cover. Woot this time. Right there to break up the pinfall. Vile gets to Woot, but not in time. Sorum now turns his attention back to Alric, who's had quite a few seconds to rest there on the mat. He's tossed back in the team master's corner. Alric ducks out of the way, surprisingly. Oh, plants a right hand directly on Sorum's face and busts him open. Wisely tags in Vile at the last second. Oh, he gets a kick in the gut for his troubles. As well as a few stiff knees. And a Russian leg sweep. Now we're clearly on top of things. He's locked and loaded. Got Vile in his sights. I'm gonna hoist him up for that muscle buster. Goes for the cover. Swarm's nowhere in sight. So, and just in the nick of time, Sorum, a very bloody Sorum, slides in. Break up the pin. Alric still quite sure of his chances to win, though. He spins Sorum around, puts him right beside Vile. Slams his leg into the mat. Sorum kicks out, though. He finally goes back to the apron, giving Vile the opportunity. But in the confusion, gets the hot tag to Woot. Vile not paying attention. Now dragged to the corner. Woot. Oh, just sits down on him. Oh, only gets the two count. Swarm. Not quite there to break up, break up the pin. Had a little more faith in his buddy than we thought. Oh! He dry hand, and now we're just squeezing the life out of Vile's skull and slams him into the mat. Kick to the hamstring. Goes for the cover. And gets the three count, surprisingly. Very impressive win, but oh, Alric seems a little distraught, distraught by the fact that even though his team won, and oh no, and just walks away, not really sure what's going on here. Maybe he'd be happy his team picks up the victory, but apparently Alric's a little upset that he didn't get to get, make the pin. Ah, 
Ah, I just don't know what to make of those two at this rate. Up next for you once again, ladies and gentlemen, Rian Galford takes on Shoya Urepa with Dia in his corner. reigning ZV Grand Champion in history coincidentally coming out to the ring for another exciting matchup tonight against Shori last night he was in a triple threat match against Defiant and Shori and was not involved in the decision at all Defiant was able to pick up the victory over Shori of course Rhea now looking past that looking ahead to taking out Shori tonight in one on one competition no doubt quite concerned with what DL on the outside may do to interfere and she is always a factor in these matches. by absence last night. Dia was not a Shori side for the triple threat match. But no doubt a little part of Shori regrets that as he was defeated by Defiant. He's corrected that mistake tonight as Dia joins in ringside probably a little more willingly than usual on Shori's part. The referee is going to have to have eyes in the back of his head keeping his eye on both these competitors and Dia on the outside. There's the bell, run away again. Oh! Rian trying to start out with that explosive power he's so known for just like that, but Shori had it scouted. Tried to cut him off, but Rian just came at him again. Rian does what it does best. Puts you on the mat and starts pounding away. Rian may be an habitual creature, but he gets the job done. These two definitely no stranger to each other. I've met several times by now. <clears throat> well, for the most part, Rian has been able to come out and come top in these non-title matchups. Shorty hopes to change that tonight, though. The way things are going now, he might not get it done. As I say that, Shorty sweeps Rian off his feet. And ties him up once again in the twisting arm bar. Ooh, wrenching away at that arm and the elbow. Boom! Picking Rian up head first and slamming him back down on the mat. Gonna go for the cover here. Oh, only gets a one count though. The grand Champion's gonna take a lot more than that to be taken out. So he slides out and back in the ring to collect his composure, and he does so. Excellent precision. He just dumps Shory down on the mat and kicks him back down. Gonna hoist him up right off the ground for a power bomb. Drop the elbow right on that knee. Oh, big! Cross body from Shorty, just throwing himself at Rian to take him down. Once again, working over that arm. Smart move by Shorty. Hard to connect with that devastating Superman punch if that arm's all twisted up. Not gonna be able to get all the might on it. So he tosses Rian to the outside, follows after him.
mm, head first into the apron. Again, just throwing himself at Rhea and knocking him down with the full force of his body. Picks Rhea up and takes him for a walk. Dumps him face first on the steel stems this time. Shorty showing a little more vicious side than usual. No doubt probably due for some coaching and advice. From that little psycho in the corner down there who's been surprisingly quiet this match. Running Bulldog out of the corner. Rian finally had enough. Sweeps him up with a dragon screw. Connects with the Superman punch. Goes straight for the cover, though. Out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen, and gets a two count. Ooh. Dia finally had enough of that. Hops up on the apron, distracting Rian, giving Shorty plenty of time to hook him up for that high angle backdrop. And just like that, Shorty is taking control, throws him into the corner. Hits him with the running bulldog yet again out of the corner. Also to that middle turnbuckle. Oh, lets the punch rain right down on Rian's face. And the ZV Grand Champion is busted open and bloody, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not going to slow him down. He is locked and loaded, poised and ready. He's going to connect with that spear. Dia once again goes for the distraction. Referee admonishing her. Preventing the three count from happening. Saving Rian once it, I mean, saving Shori once again, excuse me. Rian letting that anger and frustration show. He just lets the punches rain down. Goes for a few ZV specials of his own. Lost into the corner. Ducks out, though. Picks Rian up. Mm, drapes him neck first across that top rope. Gonna go for the cover here. I think it's a one count, though. And despite being bloody, Rian's got a lot of fight left in him. A vertical suplex. By right, Shorey, pitcher perfect. Mm, stomping away. From that... Busted open head. And once again, going to wrench away of that arm. Trying to take away some of that striking power. Plants him with a DDT. Dia very pleased with the results now. Maria once again, just that explosive power, takes him out with a shoulder tackle. Once again, getting in Rian's face. Giving Shory time to counter. Another backdrop. Austin turn corner once again. And another running bulldog. No doubt punishing that head area. And come up. Oh, goes to drop the knee but misses. Rian with a huge clothesline across the back of the neck. Goes into the corner. He's locked and ready. He goes for that spear again. This might be it, folks. And he connects. That's by wearing the crimson mask. Goes for the cover. After the spear. The referee distracted once again by Dia. It was definitely being a factor in this match just as I predicted. Not going to stop Rhea from keeping the fight to Shory, though. Some hard punches. And another Superman punch into the cover. Not only a two count. Shory hanging in there. Being bloody and beaten. Giving everything he's got to try and win this match. Goes for the clothesline, gets dumped to the outside. And once again, a chair has been thrown in the ring. <laughs> Fortunately, no one has noticed it at this point. 
except the referee who has finally decided to evict Dia for her interference in this match. As the two men still go at it on the outside of the ring. Smashed into the corner post goes Shori. Rian taking a moment to collect himself. As the referee's count is up to six. Big Shori up tosses him back into the ring. Referee noticing that steel chair and gets it to the outside. Rian taking the opportunity to get locked and loaded one more time for yet Another spear taking Shori down. Into the cover. Now only a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Shori hanging in there. Ian finally slowing things down. Keeping the pressure on Shori, though. Jockeying for position in the corner here. Oh, Rian tossed shoulder first. Smart move by Shori. Is it going to make him harder to pull off that spear now? He's already proven to be a threat. Shori now lying in wait. What's he got planned? Trips him up, goes for the sharpshooter. Can he get him over? And he does, right in the middle of the ring. And unfortunately, Rian has to tap, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you see Rian early on, one of the many Superman punches he landed right on Shoei's face. And even kicking out of whatever. You see Re Shorty poised to jump off that middle turnbuckle once again. Being connected with another Superman punch. And yet another spear, but in the end. Here is your winner, the Lawman. Shorty pulling off the victory with that sharpshooter. Forcing the grand champion to chat to tap. No doubt people are gonna be remembering that in the future when deciding his next contender for the title. In our main event, ladies and gentlemen, with all the stakes on the line, Cyber and Zero Bloodline go up against Neo Forte one more time. Bloodlines going up against Nightmare and Neo Forte in past nights are one and one. Each team pulling off an impressive victory, which has led to tonight's rubber match, which is winner take all. If Cyber and Zero are able to pick up a win tonight, each one of them will get a respective one-on-one -on -one match with Nightmare or Neo Forte. The stakes in those single matches being very, very high. And they're up 
combined weight of 460 pounds, Awesome Nightmare and The Enforcer. Should Nightmare and Neo Forte lose tonight, they will have to defend their respective prizes, Nightmare the ZV Super Championship, and Neo Forte, his ZV in the Bank briefcase, tomorrow night on ZV Universe. So everything is on the line tonight, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt both these teams are going to give everything they have in this rubber match. Cyber and Nightmare, as always, starting now for their respective teams. And here we go. Nightmare. Cyber not wasting any time. The Nightmare saw it coming a mile away. Catches that foot and traps him up. And a single leg Boston Crab. Cyber quickly muscle, muscles out of it, though. These teams have had some heated battles over the past two nights. I can't imagine anything they do tonight topping it. But they're going to have to. Because everything's on the line. The Bloodline's looking at an opportunity at championships in the future. Nightmare Neo Forte looking to hold on to their prizes. The Cyber just clamps down with a Dragon Sleeper. Wrenching way at that back. That looks so painful. Nightmare catches him, tosses him into the purple corner. Gets the tag. Oh! Neo Forte stomping down. And Cyber's back hard, just bouncing off of him. Returning the favor, sitting down on Cyber's back, wrenching away on it, and that he's already stomped on it. Ah, but Cyber counters with that piercer force kick he's known of. Known for. Get Neo Forte tied up in a grapevine and armbar. A lot of impressive holds early on in this match. This guy's showing something different. As Neo Forte is tossed into the bloodline corner. The, legends, the legend himself tagged in. Beautiful snapmare and kick combination count <laughs> tag team maneuver. Zero now rolling Neo Forte over into that single leg Boston Crab. Both these teams are doing a great job of working each other over. As Neo Forte tags Nightmare back in as the legend takes a knee to the face. And gets scooped up. He dumped into his own corner. And they were running power slam. A little impressive show of power from Nightmare. Goes with a big chop of zero counters. Waste him up. Spins him around. Dumps him rib first. Not on the knee. Nice rib breaker. Oh, Nightmare hanging in there. Kicks out. Besides, he's had enough of that. Tags Neo Forte back in. Ooh, nice running leg. Lariat. Gotta admit, that's good teamwork from Team Purple. Constantly tagging in the fresher man. Neo yeah, Forte slingshots over. Leg drop right on the back of the neck. Zero slides out of the way, though. Waste a big man up on his shoulder. Drops him down for a cutter. Let's take Neo Forte for a walk. Going to introduce him to the Bloodline Corner once again. Oh, Neo Forte quickly fights out of it. Tosses him back into the Purple Corner. Tag made. Oh! Hard drop kick straight to the back. Cyber was looking for the tag there. Zero almost made it. Zero now grabs Nightmare. Gonna take him for a walk. Nice snapmare. Ooh. Stiff kick to the back. Gonna tag the infamous Cyber Bloodline back in. Rolls him over into a half Boston Crab. Ladies and gentlemen, the move of the night, it seems. <laughs> and 
Goes for that stiff kick. Cybermare. Cyber. <laughs> Catches the leg. It's our call in these matches sometimes, folks, so all the heated action going on. Nightmare with a few well placed forearms. Jumps up for the sling blade and drops Cyber down. Want to spin him around, hit him that ripcord into the knee. And goes straight for the cover in the corner, but he's all in the ropes. That's going to call for the rope break. Nightmare was trying to keep him in the purple corner to keep Zero away from him. It's a smart move, but I'll overcompensate him a little. Oh. Nightmare just stomping away. Now tags in the Forte, who starts stomping away. Nightmare tags himself back in, and they are just rotating out, stomping away. On Cyber. Oh! Oh! Beautiful slingshot drop kick goes for the cover. Only gets a two count though. Oh, big spinning roundhouse. Ooh, and a hard kick to the back. And Neo Forte is in control. Tossing Cyber back into their corner. Hoist him up to the top. Neo Forte follows after him. Oh my god, just superplexed him off the top of the turnbuckle to the outside. Oh my god, that was scary. That was a very long fall. For both these competitors, but Neo Forte seems to be on top as he puts Cyber on the mat. The Russian Lick Sweet just to add insult to, or even injury to more injury. Cyber somehow fighting back. Picks Neo Forte up for a suplex, gets his with a knee and another leg. Oh! Smashed over and over into the apron. Toss back into the ring, slides in just in time at the count of nine. Cyber goes for the tag, can't quite make it. Toss back into the corner. Tag made the nightmare. Some more double team action, big arm drag. Ooh, and stereo kicks. Cyber has taken a beating, he really needs to tag in zero. The Bloodlines want any chance of winning this match and getting their title opportunities tomorrow night. Tag made. Ooh! Forte is very proud of his work here. Ah, Cyber finally ducks under, gets a few clotheslines. Oh no, and a knee to the face out of nowhere. Goes straight for the cover. Only gets a two count. Zero tries to cut Nightmare off, but doesn't need to. Surprising comeback from Cyber out of nowhere, but Neo Forte is still on top. Or at least he was, so Cyber counter and tosses him into the bloodline corner. Oh, gets the boot to the face. Should have made the tag to Zero while he could. Toss into the purple corner. Oh, but Cyber catches the leg. Goes for the drop kick and misses. Jockey for position now gets kicked to the gut, tossed into the bloodline corner. Swing back. Oh no, beautiful cutter combination. Zero illegal man goes for the cover. And oh, very long two count. Zero almost picks up the victory, decides to pick up Neo Forte again. Hits him with not one gut wrench. Not two gut wrench. But three gut wrench. Oh. 
Hits him with the schoolboy super kick, and Neo Forte is busted in bloody oh boy. Neo Forte fired up now though. Seeing his own blood drip down his face, wing or any man. Ooh! Tries to return her favor with a few stiff kicks straight to the face. Thanks, Hero, up into a powerbomb, goes straight for the cover. Ah, Cyber there to not only stop Nightmare, but break up the pin at the same time. Neo Forte sweeps him off his feet for a quick cover. But he's all in the ropes. Just the rope break. Over the combination, puts Zero in the ropes. Tosses him to the outside. I'm just daring Cyber to come after him now. Zero's out on his feet on the outside. Neo Forte. While he may be giving Zero time to rest, he's also giving himself time to rest after being busted open like that. And Zero finally slides back in the ring. Gives him a good swift punch, tosses him. Into the corner, pulls him back in. Gonna hit him with that move, the tandem bloodbath once again. Cyber the legal man going for the cover. Nightmare nowhere to be found. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winners. In a hard fought battle. The Bloodline Brothers showing what they do best. Taking out Nightmare Neo Forte. This means they have earned their right. To compete against Nightmare and Neo Forte tomorrow night for their respective prizes, the ZV Super Championship. And the, and the ZV in the Bank briefcase. The question is, who will challenge who? The only way to find out, though, is to tune in tomorrow night and see the action unfold. As for tonight, however, that's going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's ZV Universe. As always, this is the real legend himself saying, you guys have fun, and we will see you next time on ZV Universe.